ओके बिस्मिल्लाहिर्रहमानिर्रहीम सो वेलकम टू दिस सेकंड लेक्चर इन द कोर्स रियल टाइम एनालिटिक्स और रियल टाइम इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट सो इन द लास्ट क्लास व्हाट वी हैव डन इज वी हैव बेसिकली लेड अ फाउंडेशन फॉर द स्ट्रीमिंग डेटा सो वी सॉ दैट there are a lot of instances now in which uh, streaming data is being generated uh, across all the uh, industry verticals uh, and also iot technology is now generating a lot of streaming data so now we need to develop infrastructures uh, which can cater for this uh, streaming data so that we can uh, analyze the data and uh, then we can also process it we can wrangle it uh, store it uh, record its metadata query it using sql or any other uh, different uh, you know querying mechanism so uh, whatever we are doing right now with the static data uh, we need to do the same with streaming data so for example business intelligence on uh, streaming data and uh, machine learning on streaming data and uh, sql on streaming data data wrangling on streaming data um, data warehousing on streaming data storage on streaming data etc etc so the trends are now changing and uh, one of the things that i told you in the last class uh is basically the uh a concept which is called a data lake so now um you can consider it this way that if this is your uh, traditional database oracle for example so now all the raw data now comes in the data lake and from the data lake i have different pipelines uh which are able to analyze different things for different uh, business managers for example i can have some dashboard here um i can have some machine learning here uh here i can have some sql querying and so on and so forth so that is what we are aiming to do right so nowadays uh, in pakistan it is really a pathetic scenario uh that the whole world has now adopted the uh hadoop technology uh and its uh, ecosystem like we saw in the last class we have hive uh we have hbase we also have spark running over hadoop and so on and so forth um but in pakistan it is really a very uh you know it's something you can say ke it's very sad to see ke uh, these things are not very commonly used in pakistan uh, in our big in our big companies like multinational companies as well especially which are local companies maybe the uh the international companies are maybe you doing it for example international banks might be using the, these technologies but uh, they are not really common so it's a big uh, it's a pity uh, that we are not able to actually you know um we are not able to actually utilize these technologies for our own benefit so we continue to uh, deal with big data here uh, in the traditional oracle uh, but we don't even have no sql like mongo db and those things we are not even using mongo db extensively uh, to manage big data it oh, might... so it might be uh, used for some particular application like uh, storage of e-commerce data or storage of uh, streaming data but definitely uh, it is not being used as part of an infrastructure so that is the disadvantage you know so no sql databases are being used uh for specific applications 
but not very frequently as part of a complete infrastructure. So that's a huge blow, right? Because um, much of the data which is being stored here in Oracle uh, and the other databases can be easily queried and managed through MongoDB. I'm talking about the big data. So the, if it is a big company, then you know SQL queries are really SQL queries are very unsophisticated queries. Uh, they require a lot of code and uh, they are slow. Um, but now we have Hadoop over which we can, you know, run the SQL queries as well as we saw in the last class that we have solutions like drill. So by using drill, I can actually query SQL over the data stored in Hadoop. It's very easy for me, drill ho gaya, presto ho gaya. But what I'm trying to say is that uh, these technologies are not not really being used very extensively in Pakistan. Um, and there is no trend to even start using them. So yeah, to ab, mere liye personal problem kya hoti hai ke, uh, I do want the industry to adopt it. Like in, unfortunately, the industry, uh, our jo bade, jo badi companies hai, unka mizaj ye hai ke hum badi companies ke solutions kharidenge, jaise Oracle ho gaya, IBM ho gaya. So companies like K Electric, Bagara, so they always tend to focus on buying, uh, you know, uh, solutions of big companies because of the fact that these big companies give them a lot of benefit for buying their solution. Both benefit they think business managers go for selecting their solution. So on good trips, or, you know, it's easy money for them or, uh, there are many other factors in play there. It's more as it's more sophisticated solution than a local solution. So unfortunately, it is not happening. So all these technologies like Kafka, Spark, Data Lake, Hadoop. So yeah, I think HBL is the only bank just to apply kiya bi data lakes ko. Uh, others might be just doing some POC or something like that, but there is no wholehearted acceptance of these technologies. So that's what we need to do, right? Aap log jo diploma may hai, so that's what you need to do so one of the things we talked about uh, in the last class is that you know um, if i have big data okay so if i have big data then i can do anything with it uh, then i can manage it basically uh, through Hadoop. And how uh, how does Hadoop manage it? By distribution. Okay, so that's what we discussed in the last class. Uh, by distribution over multiple computers. So we always also call them nodes. Okay. So that's how Hadoop manages it. So the underlying uh, backbone of this infrastructure is HDFS, the Hadoop file system, which manages the cluster. Okay. Um, so if I, I can store data in Hadoop, so we'll talk history class from Nikata K H base is the Hadoop database. So if I want database level functions, so I can use H base. So I can put the data in Hadoop, uh, and store it in H base. Uh, I can, if I don't want to use a database, then I can also store data directly in HDFS uh, as blocks of data. And I can also query that for problem. But if I want to have a database over Hadoop, I can store data directly in HBase. Uh, if I want to have a SQL like scenario over Hadoop, then I can use Hive. Hive may now I can execute SQL queries directly over data stored in Hadoop uh, or over HBase. So even data stored in HBase tables, uh, I can query that using Hive. I can also create tables using Hive uh, and query them using SQL. Okay. So that's that's pretty clear. Look at me last time. Uh -huh. uh, I told you in the last class ke, um, uh -huh. there is a mapping. So just let me draw it as a reminder of what we did last time. So let's say ke, this is Hadoop. So I have uh, two or three PCs, four PCs, let's say. So I, they're all, so let me just, uh, 
So let's say I have this uh, infrastructure and this is HDFS. So all of them are connected to the network. So network is here, HDFS is here. So if I want to do anything, so let me just write them down. Okay. If I want to process data over Hadoop, I have two options. One is MapReduce and the other is Spark. Okay. Mostly I have these two options. As you are. So map reduce is basically for batch level data. Okay. Uh, batch means a, a collection of uh, data points. Uh, for example, like you can say 10,000 ka batch. Hai. So I, I give one whole batch to the map reduce system and it processes that. For example, one example of processing is executing an SQL query. So that is that okay. spark is basically real time uh, on which we are focusing. So if you have IOT data, real time data, online banking data, online transactions, data, ATM data, IOT data, census data, all of this is uh, happening in real time, right? Uh, caller data, which is telecom companies, they say you phone. So the calls are happening in real time. So if I want to process real time data, then I have to use Apache Spark. So nowadays, typically I do everything with Apache Spark, even if it is uh, a not very real time requirement. So I will still try to use Apache Spark because it is faster. Apache Spark is faster because it uses RAM uh, and MapReduce basically stores data in hard disk. So it does not, it does not uh, manage everything inside the RAM. So that's why it is slower, very slow as compared to Spark. So Spark is a hundred times faster than uh, MapReduce in some experiments. But the main point is that uh, when I execute Hive, for example, Hive, if I run SQL query, then it gets converted to MapReduce code. So Hadoop only understands MapReduce. That is what you need to understand basically. Na? Ke Hadoop jo hai, that only understands the MapReduce language. Uh, so everything gets converted to MapReduce in the case of batch processing. Spark has its own infrastructure as we will see today. Okay. So what is Kafka? So Kafka is uh, primarily, um, it's uh, Kafka uh, is meant to ingest streaming data. So uh, you can take the example of Kafka as, uh, for example, you um, you are standing on a you are standing on a train station, a platform. Okay, so uh, why do we have a platform, right? I mean, you are standing in some city which is at the center of some country, and there are literally hundreds of trains which pass through that uh, platform and stop there. Uh, the passengers get down, the passengers embark and the train goes off again. So that is an example of Kafka. Okay. Okay. There is, when you talk of streaming data, there is a lot of data uh, which is coming from all directions. For example, if you have agriculture field mein sensors, lagate hai, so there you might need to install at least 15 to 20 different sensors okay. along with camera fields. So wherever you have a wireless sensor network, you are going to have multiple sensors. So the data is going to come in very frequently and from all directions. So it's an example of a train station that you need some platform in which the train will stop. The passengers will get down. Some of the passengers will get up and then the train will go off again. If you don't, if you don't have an ingestion mechanism, then how can you acquire the streaming data? I cannot just put my hand on the stream and get the data in that way. I need a connector and I identify that I database connect to the database and I can connect to the table that's ingestion. So similarly, Apache Kafka is a method to ingest 
स्ट्रीमिंग डेटा इनजेस्ट का मतलब ये होता है कि उसको आपने एक्वायर करना है ठीक है तो अब ये किस तरह होगा कि इसको अब अभी हम देखते हैं ठीक है तो इट्स बेसिकली समथिंग विच इज कॉल्ड पब सब पब्लिश एंड सब्सक्राइब ठीक है तो वट डज दैट मीन के ओके आई हैव लेट से फ्यू पीपल हेयर सो दे आर जनरेटिंग द स्ट्रीमिंग डेटा आई हैव समथिंग इन बिटवीन एंड आई हैव अ फ्यू पीपल हेयर सो दे आर एक्चुअली सो दीज गाइज आर सेंग के Here's our data. Please take it. Say it. And uh, these guys are saying that we want your real-time data. Okay, so we uh, we need to think of a method to connect them. how can they acquire okay uh, the data so that is given by kafka so kafka says that okay what you can do is that uh, it it tells these people ke it tells these people ke please publish your data to me theek hai uh publish means ke just tell me about the data ke which data you have uh so publish them to me mujhe bata do ki tumhare paas kya kya data hai so that's called publishing publish your data to me uh and then it tells uh, these people to primarily uh subscribe to me to get your data सही है, सो इट्स बेसिकली कॉल्ड अ पब सब मॉडल पब्लिश एंड सब्सक्राइब सो द प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑफ द डेटा आर बी द पब्लिशर्स दे प्रोड्यूस द डेटा सो द पीपल ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड दे आर द सेंसर्स और दे माइट बिलोंग टू सम कंपनी हुआ जनरेटिंग द रियल टाइम डेटा सो दे से ओके पब्लिश द डेटा ओके एंड द पीपल ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड दे आर बेसिकली द सब्सक्राइबर्स और दे आर द कंज्यूमर्स so they want the data so i'm just going to write them write this down as well so these guys are the publishers and uh, these guys are the consumers so it's a very famous model this pub sub model is a very same famous model that uh, for example um, you you are you are you are uh, telecom company and you have some sort of mou with a telecom company in uh, sweden uh so you are actually sweden or let's say uh, i don't know germany jo bhi hai so you have that contract and uh, now you want you are, you are generating the real time data and you want them to take it so how they will take it so you can't just give streaming data and csv files otherwise uh you will need to send them multiple csv files every day so that's not the way to do it the way to do it is to have a big data platform in which you have installed apache kafka over hadoop for example it's running over hadoop so um so have a data lake uh and uh, in the data lake the apache kafka will ingest uh, the data uh you will be the publisher you will give your data to kafka and the germany guys or the sweden guys are going to be the consumers and they will take the car data from the kafka pipeline that's the way so this pub sub model allows you to uh, have a mechanism for ingestion aur ye zaruri isliye hota hai kyunki uski wajah ye hai ki dekhen mujhe har cheez har waqt to nahi chahiye na i don't need everything all the time i i might tell them okay i am i am only interested in the calls made by females because we are doing some gender based analysis so just give me the customers who are females and who are who are calling uh, locally and internationally so i might just have that requirement other people might say ki we are only looking for old people who are 
more than 60 years old, uh, just give us their data. Someone might say, okay, we are looking for teenagers, just give us their data. So you don't need the, the streaming is raw. Yes, the data which falls in Oracle is raw data, right? So what the raw data, you don't need the raw data. You don't need everything all the time. So similarly here, so you got, uh, you, you have specific requirements at specific times and those requirements might be changing in real time. Say it to me, the consumers have specific requirements at specific times and these might be changing from time to time. So I need flexibility in acquiring the data. About kisi kisim ke bhi data ki baat karne, if you talk about like uh, survey data or if you talk about like uh, uh, financial data, online banking data. So you, you will not give them their whole, the whole database ke, here, take it. Okay. So I will give you the streaming data. It's, it's it does not work like that. Uh, you will say, Acha, tell me what you want. Then you can subscribe to that topic and then you will get the data for that topic. So you don't, you don't need everything all the time. So I, I hope that this is clear. This is very similar to the concept of Oracle. Okay, so Oracle may what happens in Oracle. So if uh, just let me clear. So if I have this Oracle database, okay, so what am I what am I doing over it? What am I doing over the Oracle database? So I am running uh, SQL queries to extract specific information from time to time. That's what I'm doing, right? Because ये ऐसा तो नहीं होता ना कि Oracle में जितना database है, 24 घंटे में उसको पूरा का पूरा query कर रहा होता हूँ. That does not work, right? So the same ditto uh, thing works for um, the streaming data as well. ठीक है? So therefore, it's a publish subscribe messaging. Why it is a messaging system? कोई बता सकता है? What do you mean by messaging? I, I have told you what, you what is meant by publish and subscribe. What do you mean by messaging? <coughs> uh, where are you expecting the feedback? Sorry? Where are you expecting the feedback? Basically, publish and subscribe are like, you know, at the different way, the messaging and publish may go over to you. are expecting a reply. Or message, right? Just like how we send a message, expect a reply. Similarly, we would expect a message a reply from the thing. So you are coming. It might be notify you when the data gets updated. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it is similar to that. Uh, a form of com communication. Huh, it's a communication system from, uh, you are right, from publishing to, from publishers to subscribers or from producers to consumers. So you will, the message will go through Kafka uh, from publishers to the subscribers or from producer to the consumer. So it's basically a messaging system. Rethought as a distributed commit log. Um, so what does this mean, K log? It's actually the concept goes like this, K, I have this text file. Uh, so I am writing to this. So I am the writer and there's a person who's reading from it. So he's the reader. Uh, so I'm just appending the data here and committing it like, uh, like we're committing databases. So I'm doing the same thing. Commit means ke the data, uh, actually becomes permanent in the database. That's what commit means. Okay. So I committed the data to the database. So I am doing this commitment log. So this is the commit log. And I'm just uh, keep on writing and this guy keeps on reading. Okay, so that's what that's uh, what is happening in Kafka as well. Uh, but the difference between Kafka and this commit log is uh, the difference of actually uh, distribution. That is the difference. So the point is that this Kafka system that we see here is not is not running on uh, this is not running on one machine. 
okay so this uh, kafka is running on a cluster so it therefore that is the reason it works with hadoop so if you have a hadoop cluster you can run kafka over it okay kafka is running on a cluster so you you can say hadoop cluster to pehla kaam to aapko ye karna padega ki aapko hadoop ka cluster banana padega uske upar hi aap sare kaam kar sakte hain bishak hive ho hbase ho spark ho kafka injection ho you have you need to have the cluster in place okay that's that's the main thing so it's it's running on cluster so this uh, whole activity is actually distributed that's what you need to understand okay so uh, how is it distributed you will see right now you don't need to go into the nitty gritty details but, but you just need to understand that it is distributed so kafka runs uh, in a what was that distributed fashion so the concept of uh, taking something from the publishers and giving to the subscribers so that concept wants kafka to do many things and those many things are being done in a distributed fashion that's what you need to keep in mind because um, otherwise you know um, it's not going to work the reason kafka is fast is uh, because of distribution and uh, we uh, have the distribution because of the fact ke uh we have to manage big data that's the reason if i have small data like i have data from iot sensor ek iot sensor hai jo ek din mein 300 rows generate kar raha hai right just 300 rows in one day so that is not big data uh, i can analyze that 300 rows at the end of one day in a bi chart and that is it even if i have thousands of these rows uh like 300 rows per day mean ke 39000 rows per month that is nothing that is peanuts okay um, and like maybe 1 uh, lakh rows per year so that is a uh, kids play to analyze that in a bi chart so that is small data but we are talking about the situation in which the data is coming really fast or even if it is not coming really fast it is coming with a good speed and it is coming throughout the day so that is the time when you need kafka so you, you don't need always uh, the kafka mechanism and there are like i told you okay pakistan may the smart home industry is pretty good right it's like 75 million dollar ki industry abhi hai pakistan mein smart homes ki but um, i don't i have never heard anybody using apache kafka to ingest those streams etc unless it is in some academic project or some research project ha usme kar rahe honge I, i have not seen any application of that as yet ye hai so this is the main thing theek hai i think uh, this is clear now <clears throat> so we know what is publishing we know what is subscription we know messaging we know what's a commit log and we know what's distributed and we have talked about the scenarios of kafka usage so i think uh, we have done uh, the basics so kafka is fast uh, primarily because dekhiye jo cheez bhi ram ko istemal karegi obviously that's going to be fast um, and nowadays the ram is pretty cheap right i mean we're talking about like 128 uh, 64 gigabytes of ram as a normal usage now in server machines or 128 gigabytes is a normal thing now so that's that's a lot of ram so if you make a cluster of machines which have a 32 gb ram so kafka can run on that very easily scalable like hadoop so i can add as many nodes as possible it's very similar to hadoop uh, durable because uh, in hadoop i replicate the data for fault tolerance and i do the same in kafka as well and it is distributed like hadoop that we have already talked about so um, the kafka use cases uh, all of these are pretty big companies right that's like that's what i was telling you but what i am saying is that in pakistan you have scenarios in which you can do kafka but it's not being done so linkedin is a kafka cluster running on 400 computers the the data streaming data is divided into 18000 topics so topics mean ke when you have the pub sub model 
ठीक है तो पब्लिशर्स और गोना गिव काफका द टॉपिक्स के मस्त द टॉपिक इज के ऑल द फीमेल्स व्हिच आर कॉलिंग फ्रॉम 6 एएम टू 6 पीएम दैट्स अ टॉपिक राइट ऑल द पीपल हु आर एज मोर देन 60 इयर्स ओल्ड इन ऑनलाइन बैंकिंग all the people who did money transfers today in online banking so you can have many topics so i can just subscribe to those uh, particular topics so obviously linkedin is a huge thing so it has 18000 topics um, or maybe more this is like in 2014 so maybe now they have like 50000 topics and 220 billion messages a day 3.2 million messages per second so all of these are very old figures so you can say that it's like maybe uh maybe 500 billion messages per day now right now okay and peak messages may be like 50 million messages per second <laughs> say uh, considering ke how many people are now using linkedin uh netflix obviously uh it's like a movie uh, real time netflix is streaming right so real time monitoring and even processing is required uh, by the netflix authorities ke log kya dekh rahe hain किस वक्त क्या देखा जा रहा है उनको क्या चीज रिकमेंड करनी चाहिए सिमिलरली लाइक एमेजोन दी रिकमेंडर सिस्टम दे आर ऑल्सो मॉनिटरिंग पीपल ऑनलाइन सिमिलरली फॉर अदर ई कॉमर्स सिस्टम ट्विटर दैट्स अज एप्लीकेशन ऑफ रियल टाइम डेटा एनालिटिक्स सो दे हैव डिवेलप दे आर यूजिंग अपाची स्ट्रॉम दे आर नॉट यूजिंग अपाची दिस स्पार्क सो अपाची स्पार्क का जो स्ट्रीमिंग कॉम्पोनेट है उसका कंपेटिटर है स्ट्रॉम सो दैट्स वेरी गुड एज वेल सो उसको वो यूज कर रहे हैं स्पॉटिफाई आई डोंट नो व्हाट स्पॉटिफाई व्हाट्स दैट स्पॉटिफाई इज अ म्यूजिक प्लेटफॉर्म म्यूजिक स्ट्रीमिंग सर्विस म्यूजिक स्ट्रीमिंग ओके सो आई मीन दे मस्ट बी आल्सो हैविंग ह्यूज बिग डेटा रिक्वायरमेंट्स सो दे आर डेफिनेटली यूजिंग हडूप लॉगली लॉग कलेक्शन एंड प्रोसेसिंग मोजिला टेलीमेट्री डेटा एयर एंड बीएनबी सिस्को infochims uh, uyala square uber and there are there are probably thousands of other companies which are using it so i've given an assignment today as well on the classroom so you have to do that that's pretty simple okay uh and in the next class we are going to have hands on so uh, all of you are required to come to the class in the next long next saturday inshallah taala theek okay? hai सर नेक्स्ट क्लास विल बी फिजिकल हाँ जी 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 इनशाला अप टू टू मिलियन राइट पर सेकेंड ऑन थ्री चीप मशीन चीप मशीन मीन द डेस्कटॉप नॉर्मल मशीन और दीरी लो ग्रेड सर्वर मशीन सो आई कैन हैव टू मिलियन राइट पर सेकेंड दैट इज बाई दब्लिशर्स दैट्स अज डेटा टू राइट दैट्स वेरी फास्ट एंड इफ आई हैव थ्री प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑन थ्री डिफरेंट मशीन uh three times asynchronous replication so replication of data does occur kafka ko jo aap data dete hain usko replicate karta over the cluster uh, but that does not degrade its performance uh so this is pretty good speed uh this is sustained as the data grows so hadoop is also you know scalable so hadoop's performance will not go down as the data grows and as the number of nodes grow uh its performance will be consistent and similarly for kafka as well so this is the throughput size is pretty good uh, records per second kitne records per second kafka process kar raha hai uh, and the data written you know it just keeps on you are increasing the data to write but the throughput remains the same that's the main thing ke you are increasing the big data but the performance of kafka remains consistent so it's uh, equal uh, the variance of the data remains the same that's the main thing the mean remains the same and the variance also remains the same that's uh, pretty good okay so these things have been experimented in lot of detail so that's pretty good that you see um fast writes uh, kafka persists all data to disk um obviously hard disk is uh, much more spacious than the ram so i can't store data in the ram but if i want to process the data for consumers then i have to use the ram all the writes go to the page cache of os that is the ram so ram ke andar uh, if i am publisher then i am writing the data so that the data being written uh, goes to the ram first and then the consumer is going to consume it as a topic 
and then I can persist this to the disk. For example, in MongoDB. So when we are talking about so MongoDB is a storage. So MongoDB means that it is a beer, but it is a database. Database means when data goes away, then data goes away. So unless you have to query it. Similarly, MongoDB is the same. So I, I am publishing the data here. So I, I, I'm the publisher, the data gets written to the RAM. Uh, someone consumes it as a topic. Uh, and then I can put the data in MongoDB. So this might be part of the data lake. So that is ingestion. Aram's ingestion will be based on RAM. And if, if, you have a, if you have a cluster, then you have more RAM. Uh, and if you have a larger RAM, like 64 gigabytes, so you can, you know, the speed is, is going to be good. Fast reads, um, very efficient to transfer data from page cache to a network socket. Uh, what, what this means is uh, if I have two PCs and uh, this is the RAM, so the data is written here uh, and these PCs are connected by a LAN. So these are the socket uh, through which the PCs are connected. So I have to consume the data on this PC. So it's very efficient to transfer the data from RAM to socket and from socket to RAM here so that this consumer can consume it. So this, this whole pipeline is pretty simple. Okay. Send file system call get through up. You can just send the file here and this guy can consume it. So both of these things are combined together. Uh, so this gives you a very fast Kafka. So on a Kafka cluster where the consumers are mostly caught up, you will see no read activity on the disk as they will be serving data entirely from the cache. Okay. So basically I, I am storing the data on the hard disk. So this, this guy has a hard disk obviously, or the SSD. This guy also has the hard disk. So all the streaming data, which is coming in is being persisted on the hard disk. But if I want to publish or consume it, then it will be inside the RAM. Ye main cheez hai. So they can hard disk se data RAM me lekar aana, ye to wala kaam hai. Ye to masla hai nahi. So whenever you run SQL query, the data is, uh, it is executed over the data stored in the database. But uh, first that data is brought to the RAM, then SQL goes SQL the SQL results aate, and then, you know, you can do save the results on the hard disk again. So all the processing goes inside the RAM. So similarly, Kafka may be this is when I'm publishing the data, I use the RAM. When I'm consuming the data, I use the RAM. And it is very efficient to transfer data from hard disk to RAM and from RAM to the other RAM through sockets. So this is the reason K Kafka is able to have a very good throughput speed. Okay. That's the main thing. So that's what I've already told you. The who is, sorry about that. The who is who. Producers write data to brokers. Now, uh, now we are getting into details, right? So a Kafka basically uh, at the very highest level, it has different brokers. And uh, why they are called brokers? Uh, for obvious reasons, K, they are actually communicating between uh, allowing the producers to communicate with the consumers. So this is a broker, middleman. So there are multiple brokers. So you can say that Kafka has absolutely uh, multiple brokers. And the other thing is that the data is divided into topics. Okay, so let me just uh, write that down. Okay. Kafka has, or I can say, um, a Kafka cluster has multiple brokers. Okay. And I can uh, yeah, as multiple brokers and the data given by publishers or subscribers, uh, sorry, the producers or producers is divided into topics. That's the main thing. Okay. So I have multiple brokers. Yeah, main cheese. Um, and the, you can say, okay, uh, these brokers about that uh, these brokers are distributed over a cluster ye to pata hai na matlab agar multiple brokers hain to obviously kafka ka to cluster hota hai to the brokers are going to be distributed over the different nodes theek hai so ye do teen cheeze hain bas aap yaad rakhiye main cheez ye hai 
so consumers read data from the brokers. All this is distributed. The data is stored in topics. Topics are split into partitions, which are replicated. So that's a replication which happens. So brokers are the softwares uh, acting between producers and consumers. They're part of the Kafka cluster. I can have multiple brokers distributed over the Kafka cluster. Uh, the data which is being given uh, is um, divided into topics. Topics are further split into partitions and partitions are replicated. Just say, Hadoop may be yehi hota hai. Ke Hadoop may, if I have these uh, three nodes and I give it the data, so uh, very clearly, so one part goes here. So this is pink. Okay, over SDFS it is stored. Okay. And the day backup for this can be here and here. Okay. And in the other case, I can have some data here, orange. And the backup for this can be here and here. So and in this case, in the third cluster, I can have the blue data. So I split my red data into three parts and the backup for this can be here and here. Simple. Okay. So this is what happens in Hadoop as well. So similarly, uh, the same thing happens to partitions in the Kafka cluster. So um, uh, uh, each topic is divided in partition and the partitions are replicated uh, across the cluster like this, exactly the same way. Okay. So it's pretty simple to understand, nothing uh, very complicated about it. Okay. So that's how, that's how it is happening. Achha, ek cheez, uh, I'd like to tell you, okay, whenever I have a Hadoop cluster, okay, um, so I need Zookeeper actually to manage the, uh, to coordinate many logistic activities inside the Hadoop cluster. So just keep this in mind that when you have Hadoop ko set up karenge over multiple nodes or even you have a single node, you're all, always going to have Zookeeper which is running. So the Zookeeper is always going to be, uh, you know, that's an integral part of the Hadoop cluster to manage many activities. For example, if some if some cluster goes down, uh, sorry, if some node goes down, then how to manage? So us, jo node, uh, the node which dies contains replicas, right? Every node contains replicas. So if this node goes down, for example, then what about the replicas? So it will take the other replicas from other nodes. And then uh, if I set up a new node, so it's going to give them back again. So yeah, I hope that this is clear. When I diagram, I told you that if I have some blue data here, so its replica is here and here. So yeah. And if I have some pink data here, so its replica is here and here. And again, if I have some orange data here, so its replica is here and here. Right? So what happens if this node goes down? So yeah. That's the main problem. So the, the replica of orange is here and here. So I can take from either of them. And if I set up a new node, then obviously Zookeeper will say, Achha, yaar, tum, tum ye kaam karo, apna replica orange ka isko de do. So ye isko de dega. And then the replicas for this and this, jo ke pehle iske paas the, they will be, rep, they will be again put in, put in here. Uh, so I'm again, I have this blue replica and the pink replica here. Hey, so these are the sort of things which Zookeeper needs to manage. I don't have the complete list right now. And we don't have the time to go into the huge details of uh, all these things. Uh, but uh, just for to give you an idea of what happens in the distributed scenario. Hey. So for example, one of the topics I can have is Zerg Hydra. So this is a very strange topic, but this is like uh, something which you can have. So here active replica ID by or partition X for topic Zerg Hydra. So that is what this means. So they have made this convention, but the consumer of Zerg Hydra is given data from broker two, broker three, and broker one, because uh, the producer has given this topic to these three brokers. So therefore the consumer is going to subscribe. Kafka is going to help this consumer subscribe to these three brokers because they contain the published data for the topic Zerg Hydra. And that topic is further divided into different partitions. So like I have P0, P2, P0, P1, and P1, P2. You see, uh, this is a replication in fact. So this could be, uh, this could be P1, this could be P2, 
एंड दिस कुड बी पी जीरो सो जहां पे पी जीरो है पार्टीशन जीरो है उस पे पी वन और पी टू का रेप्लिका है जहां पे पी टू है वहां पे पी जीरो पी वन का रेप्लिका है एंड वेर वी है पी वन वी आर द रेप्लिका फॉर पी जीरो एंड पी टू लाइक आई टोल्ड यूर लेन ठीक है सो इट्स इट्स द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट एज हडू वी जस्ट पुट द रेप्लिका ऑन दी अदर नोट एंड नियर बाय and we can just simply subscribe so talk about partition so p1 p2 p0 are different partitions of the same topic zerg hydra and in the case of uh, telecom for example i can have the topic um, all females uh, all females uh, between 30 and 50 years old who made the calls today uh, the call the call data for females between 30 and 60 years old see so that can be a topic uh, which is being consumed every day and that can be divided into three partitions based on for example 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 to 60 and the consumer in germany can subscribe to all of these three topics because he needs the data for for those females between 30 and 60 so that's how it happens so yeah so i i think this is pretty clear so always remember ke whenever we have hadoop cluster or kafka cluster running over hadoop uh we always have zookeeper as the coordination service and the synchronization service uh other uske alawa ye manage nahi ho sakta theek hai so ab uske upar obviously like i have the hadoop cluster you are also kafka is just the ingestion i also going to have spark which is the processing part spark streaming so again the same thing the hadoop cluster will again require the zookeeper component theek hai so um topic is uh, the field name to which the messages are published so that's what a topic is so it's it's a field like rss feeds ka aapne dekha hoga na wo jo online websites pe you got different feeds of uh, different uh, blogs so you can subscribe to those feeds to get ye to aapne kiya hoga uh, online ke andar you typically have those feeds so if you subscribe to a field like if you go to some blog so they'd ask you okay do you like to subscribe uh, would you like this page to show you notifications you said okay then you subscribe to that and whenever there's new data aapko email aa jayegi ya kuch bhi hoga that is the same thing so that's called a feed uh, feed name to which messages are published uh, that's called a topic so that's the thing acha isme always remember ke um, we have to deal uh, with the concept of we have to deal with time theek hai data comes uh, at different times theek hai this question like that data for the same topic is coming in at different times theek hai so we need to maintain history that's very important in uh, streaming data always we need to maintain history so that's why yahan par bhi unhone ye ye show kiya hua hai Okay, there are newer messages. Any, I'm I'm inserting the data here. So this is this is sort of my commit log. It's just a you know sort of a commit the similar to a commit log. I just have an array or a log, and uh, this uh, is the you know this is the tail of the log. and this is the head of the log so i'm just putting the data publishing the data tail that's the newer message and the the more you go towards the other end you get messages get older and older so this is history so i'm going towards the history here okay sorry sir main aapki wo baat kaat raha hu lekin main puchna cha raha tha ye blockchain ki tarike se hota hai ki har entry save hoti hai जैसे क्रिप्टो में ब्लॉकचेन होती है ना उसमें हर एंट्री सेव होती है डिजिटल एंट्री में इसमें भी यही होता है देखें ब्लॉकचेन इज अ डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट बिकॉज द द डेटा व्हिच यू पुट ऑन द ब्लॉक दैट्स बेसिकली द ट्रांजैक्शनल डेटा दैट यू वांट टू सिक्योर ठीक है द ऑल द ऑल द ट्रांजैक्शंस गेट रिकॉर्डेड ऑन द ब्लॉकचेन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम तो ब्लॉकचेन इज नॉट अ रियल टाइम डेटा स्टोरेज मैकेनिज्म ठीक है ब्लॉकचेन में तो कॉन्सेप्ट ये है कि आई एम अफ्रेड के समवन इज गोइंग टू मेस विद माय ट्रांजैक्शन सो 
ऑल द पीपल ऑन द ब्लॉक चेन आर गोइंग टू गेट द सेम कॉपी ऑफ द ट्रांजेक्शन देर फॉर कोई भी उसके साथ गड़बड़ नहीं कर सकता तो ब्लॉक चेन इज मोर ऑफ अ स्टैटिक डेटा बेस ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन विच हैज बीन सिक्योर्ड थ्रू क्रिप्टोग्राफिक मैकेनिज्म सो उस बिकॉज उसको हम क्रिप्टोग्राफी से सिक्योर करते हैं तो नो वन कैन मेस विद दैट एंड चेंज एनी थिंग सो इट्स मोर ऑफ अ परमानेंट स्टोरेज मैकेनिज्म नॉट समथिंग के मैं ये कहूँ कि काफका के अंदर जो है वो मतलब दिस हिस्ट्री इन काफका इज नॉट लाइक सिक्स ईयर्स और सेवन ईयर्स ब्लॉक चेन में तो जो चीज एक दफा ब्लॉक पे आ गई दैट्स गोना बी देयर फॉर अ लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम सही है ब्लॉक चेन में यू कॉन्ट से अच्छा यार दिस इज माई कमिट लॉग एंड द डेटा इज हेयर जस्ट फॉर अ फ्यू आवर्स तो काफका टॉपिक कैन बी जस्ट एग्जिस्टिंग फॉर अ बिकॉज इफ यू हैव अ टॉपिक ठीक है इफ यू हैव अ टॉपिक so the topic is generating data in real time so i i have just i have just a small amount of time here in which i will put the data uh, in the broker will manage the data for some time until the consumers consume it which is also going to be in real time matlab ye nahi hoga ki i am generating data since 3 days and the consumer is coming in after 3 days to consume the data no mai to usko email kar dunga agar usse 3 din ke baad aana hai the purpose of kafka is ke i just have a small amount of time maybe a few hours in which i will maintain the data in my cluster and when that data gets consumed i am going to put it to mongo db on my hard disk oh, blockchain mein to ye hota hai ki blockchain mein once the data enters the block it's going to remain on the block forever until you terminate the blockchain सही है कि ब्लॉकचेन में इट्स ब्लॉकचेन इज मेंट टू सिक्योर योर ट्रांजैक्शंस थ्रू क्रिप्टोग्राफिक हैशिंग ठीक है इट्स नॉट मेंट टू बी अ रियल टाइम कंजम्पशन सिनेरियो के अच्छा मैंने पब्लिश किया ब्लॉकचेन पे किसी ने ब्लॉकचेन से सब्सक्राइब कर लिया तो ये तो नहीं है ठीक है ये तो ब्लॉक का मकसद नहीं है ठीक है सो ब्लॉक का मकसद इज टू बेसिकली सिक्योर द ट्रांजेक्शन सो दैट नो वन मैसेज विद दैट सही है सो द इंटेंट इज कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट सो द हिस्ट्री i have here that is why you see ke the size of the blockchain grows bigger and bigger and bigger and all the people who are on the blockchain need to update the their blockchain again and again because us pe transactions add hoti ja rahi hai so you need to get the updated copy so i don't think so ke it's a, it's a very different thing theek hai so so i think uh, this uh, this is now clear so i just uh, i'll just write it down here ke the uh, topic or partitions aap keh le jo bhi hai because the data is topic is partitions will remain uh, in will remain with the broker uh, for some time only until they get consumed theek hai Uh, which is also going to be in real time so it's a pretty interesting thing iska jab aap hands on karenge to fir aapko iski samajh mein aayegi theek hai so here we just have to remember ke this is the history which is going back and uh, here you can say ke at this point of time the messages are इसकी मिसाल जैसे खाने की मिसाल है ना कि अगर खाना जो है वो आप दो घंटे पड़ा रखेंगे बाहर तो वो खाना जो है ना वो बासी हो जाएगा खराब हो जाएगा सो इट्स सिमिलर टू दैट यू हैव टू ईट द फूड एज सुन एज पॉसिबल सो इट्स वेरी सिमिलर टू दैट एज सुन एज द डेटा गेट्स पब्लिश यू हैव टू कंज्यूम इट अदरवाइज इज गोन ग्रो स्टेल एंड देन इफ इट इफ इट ग्रो स्टेल देन ऑब्वियसली आई विल से चलो भाई यहाँ से पिक इट अप फ्रॉम हेयर एंड देन जस्ट पुट इट इन द डेटा बेस ठीक है, है, सो 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 या वी हैव द द प्रोड्यूसर्स प्रोड्यूसर्स हु आर डिफरेंट प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑलवेज ओल्डर मैसेजेस बेस्ड ऑन एज और मैक्स साइज और की सो एज मीन्स के हाउ मन हाउ मच ओल्ड प्रूंस का क्या मतलब है कि नाउ आई है डेटा Uh, out of the queue so i will 
the data will keep on increasing. So for example, uh, as I keep add the data here, the, the queue grows larger and larger and larger. So I have to prune the head. Because I have to just throw this data away. Okay. So here I'll just write it down again. So the head keeps on getting larger because the data is coming in continuously by the producers at the tail. So yeah, so we need a mechanism to prune the head so that the size of the list size of the queue remains the same. Okay. I can't have a very large queue, so I need to prune the head. So I'll prune the head, which is logically, if I ask you, you will say, the old message is to prune the head. So I will say the messages which are like three hours old, just put them away. Or the messages, uh, if the queue size is so big, then you need to prune the head first three elements. And the key hai, that can be some other mechanism. For example, uh, every element that is coming here might have some key, primary key. Okay. So I might say that uh, the keys which uh, is 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 key se purani keys sari ki sari aap delete karte. So these are the three things uh, I can use for just pruning the pruning the topic. So uh, that's the concept. Just you need to keep in mind. Okay. Uh, so you okay? So consumers are dekhe, consumers are consuming in real time. I will just uh, specify this here. Otherwise, usko koi fayda nahi hai. अगर आपके कंज्यूमर्स ने डेटा को तीन दिनों के बाद कंज्यूम करना है तो भाई आप उनको ईमेल कर दें या कई डेटाबेस ऑनलाइन क्लाउड पर डाल के उनको उनसे शेयरिंग कर दें उनको रियल टाइम करने की क्या जरूरत है ठीक है तो कंज्यूमर्स आर कंज्यूमिंग डेटा इन रियल टाइम दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट मींस के व्हेन द डेटा व्हेन द टॉपिक्स आर इन द क्यू Topics or their partitions because you need to understand that the topics are divided into partitions. That's the main thing. So, um, so consumers use an offset pointer uh, to track by control their read progress. Obviously, what is happening? The data is coming in here all the time. Okay. If the data is coming in here, the queue is increasing. Now, if I am consumer C1, I read this block, this partition, and then I went, take, I took this partition, stored it in my Oracle. By the time I came back, the queue has changed. So therefore, I need to have some sort of a bookmark to understand that I last time kahan se read kiya tha. Okay. So just uh, let me write that down. So when I consume a partition, Uh, I might take some time in ingest in uh, ingesting it. For example, must go wrangle cursor before I store it. Okay, wrangle before storing. So by the time I come back for more data, the queue has changed yeah. this uh, the position from which i took this data okay that position has gone kyunki wo to yahan pe aa chuki hai mujhe yaad hi nahi main to samajh raha hu ki wo ye wali position hai but us pe to sara naya data aa gaya so i need the data which is this one now right but now this is shifted here by the time i come back so i need the offset so this is my offset which i will put here ki i read data from here after a few time, I come here. So that is why I need the offset. So I need to have an indication from where I read the previous partition. That's the offset. But this is the basic concept. 
आप हिसाब किताब रखें कि भाई मैंने लॉस टाइम फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू गो टू द लाइब्रेरी एंड यू आर सर्चिंग फॉर लाइक थ्री बुक्स सही है एंड यू गो यू गो टू सम शेल्फ एंड यू स्टार्ट ब्राउजिंग फॉर बुक्स ठीक है तो सडनली योर फोर रिंग्स सो यू कीप एड इंडिकेशन कि मैंने यहाँ तक किताबें देखनी है देन यू गो बैक टू सम रूम एंड अटेंड यू कॉल देन कम बैक हेयर Uh, and then start browsing from that point onwards. Bas, that's the basic concept. As simple as that. बहुत ही आसान करके बता दिया आपको So, the topic consists of partitions, which we have already said के definitely it does consist of partitions. So, partitions are ordered. Obviously, like in the previous slide. they there has to be an order like in the library as well you know the books are ordered so in the library ek shelf pe jo kitabein padi hoti hain unka jo number assign kiya hota hai wo order mein hota hai 1 2 3 4 typically the same concept goes here so the library books are ordered as well uh immutable means that it cannot be changed ek minute azan ho rahi so um it has to be immutable because if it is not immutable then obviously everything is going to grow is it going to be a criss and cross so the sequence has to be maintained otherwise how can i keep track of that along with the offset okay so that's logical a uh, sequence of messages that is continually appended to so um so the, the the topic that we saw in the last slide we just saw one queue right it's actually divided into different topics so the same topic is divided into uh, sub topics or partitions uh, and that could be needed because of the fact that the topics are coming with a lot of frequency or the topics can have sub topics which could be divided into different partitions etc etc or it is just uh, the way kafka is supposed to deal with the topics uh, because it dekhen ye jo hai na they you can you can see yourself ke why this is important i'll just write it down ke it is important to divide your topics into partitions uh because they help kafka to parallelize over hadoop cluster samjha rahi baat ki so this becomes simple so the same topic uh can be so this can be this can be sent to node 1 this can be sent to node 2 this can be sent to node 3 ओके एंड नोट वन पे भेजेंगे तो इसका रेप्लिका नोट टू नोट थ्री पे होगा नोट टू का रेप्लिका वन थ्री पे होगा थ्री का रेप्लिका वन टू पे होगा दिस इज दिस इज हाउ इट इज सो बेसिकली इट हैज मोर टू डू विद पैरालिज्म बिकॉज इफ आई गिव द डेटा टू हडूब तो हडूब उस वक्त अच्छा चलेगा जब वो हम उसको वेन आई एम एबल टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द डेटा ओवर अ क्लस्टर सो इन अदर वर्ड्स आई जस्ट राइट इट डाउन के uh in other words partitions uh are distributed let me just fill it down okay different partitions are distributed over different nodes and this increases the efficiency of reads and writes as simple as that matlab koi isme koi complicated cheez hai hi nahi jo aapko samajhne mein isko roke this is pretty simple theek hai it uses the same concept as a loop so that's the thing theek hai uh the number of partitions is configurable it's configurable because it depends on your own cluster so if you got like four nodes you can say ki four um फोर पार्टीशन पर टॉपिक अगर आपके चार नोट हैं पार्टीशन डिटरमिन मैक्सिम कंज्यूमर पैरलिज्म ये देखें ये बात आ गई दैट्स द मेन थिंग जो मैंने आपको कही थी ये तो खैर वो स्ट्रॉम का काफ का स्पाउट करें तो अब बात ही स्ट्रॉम से स्ट्रीम को प्रोसेस करें या स्पार्क स्ट्रीमिंग से करें यू विल स्टिल नीड टू यूज काफ का सो काफ का इज द इंजेक्शन मैकेनिज्म फॉर स्पार्क स्ट्रीमिंग एज वेल एज फॉर अपाची स्ट्रॉम विच इज बिंग यूज बाई ट्विटर but mostly people are using sparse streaming so it is interesting for this thing and this thing as well aur uske baqayda pure functions bane hain strom ke andar aap dekhenge functions bana hua hai usme spout ka concept hota hai 
तो यू कैन टेक द डेटा फ्रॉम द स्पॉट एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा बहरहाल दिस इज दफ्का क्लस्टर यू कैन सी के द पार्टीशन आर डिवाइडेड ओवर द डिफरेंट नोड ये मैं आपको बात बता रहा था और अब देखिये फायदा उसका क्या है कि कंज्यूमर ग्रुप ए इज लाइक पीपल फ्रॉम द सेम ऑफ द सेम रिक्वायरमेंट सो दे है रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ कंज्यूमर ग्रुप वन सॉरी इज टेकिंग डेटा फ्रॉम पार्टीशन जीरो एंड पार्टीशन थ्री सो इट टेक्स डेटा फ्रॉम सर्वर वन कंज्यूमर ग्रुप टू इज टेकिंग डेटा फ्रॉम दिस वन सो ठीक है उसमें कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता बट I can have a group of consumers which is taking data from both the nodes. Or its benefit is that this guy, uh, this guy can connect only to server one. His work will be done. This guy can connect only to server two. His work will be done. So, if it is that P0 is here and P1 is here, then this guy will need to connect to two machines, which is uh, not feasible for this person. Okay. In this case, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, C8, C9, C10, C11, C12, C13, C14, C15, C16, C17, C18, C19, C20, C21, C22, C23, C24, C25, C26, C27, C28, C29, C30, C31, C32, C33, C34, C35, C36, C37, C38, C39, C40, C41, C42, C43, C44, C45, C46, C47, C48, C49, C50, C51, C52, C53, C54, C55, C56, C57, 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 C
that's the thing and i'm i'm continuing to write it here in the in the theek hai so replicas ye to main aapko already bata chuka hu say um partition whenever a partition goes to a node it is replicated on the other nodes theek hai the 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 purpose is to prevent the data loss replicas you don't touch the replicas you just touch the main data but if the node goes down of the main data then you need to use the replicas so they have nothing to do with the parallelism they are just like dormant like so rahe theek hai that's the thing kafka tolerates number of replicas minus 1 dead brokers before losing the data so uh, replicas 3 hai 3 minus 1 uh, is 2 so if the two uh, if the two brokers die more than two brokers die then you can use the replicas theek hai um aha agar do se zyada brokers mar jate hain to then you lose the data theek hai but if just one broker dies you can immediately use the replicas to uh to to you know kya uh, kehte hain bring up that data theek hai iski misal simple si hai na ke uh the point is ke if two nodes go down or three nodes go down to replicas bhi mera meri madad nahi kar sakenge kyunki i won't be able to manage it sahi hai to uh If I have three replicas, तो आम तौर पे हमें करते हैं तो two is the limit, ठीक है? If one node goes down, I can manage. Two node goes down, I can manage. So I just keep it up to there, ठीक है? तो Kafka can tolerate that. But if three node goes down, four node goes down, then you know data data loss हो जाएगा. That's the thing that you need to remember. So that's what we will do, inshallah. Steps for downloading Kafka, starting a server, creating a console-based consumer producer required, Zookeeper to be installed and running. so we'll see how that happens so these are some of the links so abhi let's take a break uh, and then just come back after like 15 minutes okay okay so a hadoop and spark so let's see their details ki ye kya hote hain abhi tak to maine aapko kafi cheeze bata di hain so apache hadoop is the apache project and the main component of hadoop is the file system okay uh file system i told you in the last class ke windows mein we use the ntfs file system so whenever we have an operating system we have a file system with that theek okay? hai so hadoop is also sort of an operating system but it works over so uh, i have this linux for example so i have the linux operating system either ubuntu or whatever or uske upar i can set up the uh, hadoop cluster okay so i can set up the cluster like this but uh, although linux is being used but the point is ke uh, hadoop ka jo nodes ke aapas mein coordination hai that happens through hdfs so the file system is this hadoop ka apna file system hai that is called hdfs theek hai so if i give any data to hadoop So, उसका सारी कोऑर्डिनेशन आपस में जैसे हमने काफका में देख रहे थे द नोड्स नीड टू कम्युनिकेट विद ईच अदर सो दैट हैपेंस थ्रू एच डी एफ एस और एच डी एफ एस बैकग्राउंड पे ऑब्वियसली इज इंटरेक्टिंग विद लिनक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम दैट्स इट सो आई कैन हैव विंडोज हेयर सो इफ आई कैन रन हडूक ओवर विंडोज इन सम प्लेटफॉर्म राइट सो आई कैन रन हडूक ओवर विंडोज तो द सेम थिंग विल बी देयर तो विंडोज के ऊपर एक लेयर होगी एच डी एफ एस की <coughs> so that's what you need to understand so hdfs is the most important thing and uh, i'll just uh, write it down here for your own benefit ke i can store big data directly on hdfs okay so that's typically in blocks of uh, data and i can also query that okay uh i can also store in h base tables and query them for example using hive or presto or drill wagara and i can create the tables different types of tables through hive so ye sari cheeze hame karke obviously dekhni hongi and then you will understand ke clearly ki kya isme ho raha hai sahi hai is this thing clear so just keep this in mind so um map reduce is just let me write it down here just for you so if i want to process process ka matlab ye hota hai ke do some work 
on the distributed data stored in Hadoop cluster, then I have to use MapReduce paradigm. Technology careless go. That's the thing, okay? So what if, uh, sorry. So MapReduce hack a cheese. Uh, MapReduce is the name of two functions. Okay. I'll take the data from HDFS and apply the map function on it. And then I apply the reduce function. It's as simple as that. Okay. So uh, everything which happens on the Hadoop cluster gets converted to map reduce for batch processing. Okay. But um, I can also have Apache Spark. So Apache Spark can run can run uh, alone, but typically it is being used with Apache Hadoop. So it's sort of a I'll say obligation. If I want to use Apache Spark, then first I have to install Hadoop, distribute the data, and then over this I can use it for uh, processing. So I'll just write it down here again. A processing of data over Hadoop, the, of data stored in Hadoop. Uh, stored in Hadoop means that HDFS may directly store kar le, tables ke form may store kar le. Okay. can be done through MapReduce and Spark. The Spark is the case that we are interested in that is real time uh, analysis. That's the thing. So these are the basic things that you need to keep in mind, basically. Okay. So um, these are changing rapidly uh, because new versions of Hadoop and Spark are coming in after just like a few months or something. So it's an active area of use. They are big areas. So Silicon Valley investors have poured in dollar two billion into companies uh, which are using Hadoop. So even the trend is even prevalent now. So Hadoop market is growing uh, by a large amount. IBM to invest a few hundred million dollars a year in Spark. So not including investment by Facebook, Google, Yahoo, Baidu and others. So if you do a little analysis, you will know that all the cloud vendors, like AWS uh, and Azure, I, I showed you in the last class, ke all of them have now Hadoop clusters available. All of them. Okay. Or uh, I mean, you can you can do anything you want. So they will set up the Hadoop cluster for you, and then you can do HBase or Hive or Spark or whatever. Okay. Even Spark ke bhi inke clusters honge. Jo maine abhi tak mujhe bhi yad nahi aara. But I think Spark processing is also available. It's not an issue. So Hadoop allows uh, data to be big data to be managed through distribution over nodes, um, and that's also called a cluster. Uh, it uses very simple programming that is called obviously MapReduce. So it's just two functions. Uh, it is scalable, so you can add as many nodes as you want, and uh, uh, you can process as much big data as possible. Okay. It can even go up to thousands of machines. Um, so Hadoop is designed to detect and handle failures by a replication. Ye aapko pata chal gaya. Uh, but whatever data comes on the node has to be replicated on other nodes. Uh, so delivering a highly available service on top of a cluster of computers, each of which may be prone to failure. Even in our lab, uh, any PC can go down on any time. So yeah, any PC can go down. So whenever it goes down, Hadoop says, I have no problem because I have this PC where replica hai. I can simply use that. If I want to, if uh, a node down, ho gaya hai, that does not mean that the cluster is going to go down. The cluster is going to remain. If you want the cluster to do better, then you can add another node yourself. That's the thing. So these are thousands of people have applied it already. So these are the Hadoop components. Uh, Hadoop common is the, you know, the basic things. Let's say, for example, the, the thing common in our human body are the body parts, 
लाइक द कलर ऑफ द हेयर ईयर आईज वगैरह तो इस तरह हडूब की ए पी आई एक है विच कंटेन ऑल द कॉमन कॉम्पोनेट द स्टोरेज कॉम्पोनेट इज द एच डी एफ एस ये मैं आपको बता चुका हूँ एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो स्टोर इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू स्टोर इन एच यू कैन नॉट ना करें यू कैन स्टोर दैट इन एच बेस कसांड्रा दैट ऑल्सो रन ऑन टॉप ऑफ हडूब ये भी बहुत मशहूर डेटा बेस है कसांड्रा अपाची एक्यूमलो दैट्स नेशनल सिक्योरिटी एजेंसी ने बनाया एक्सपेरिमेंटेड विद दिस दैट मच सो यॉन इज दैजुलिंग ऑफ जॉब तो वेन एवर आई हैव अ क्लस्टर एंड आई वॉन्ट टू डू मैप रिड्यूस ओवर दैट सो आई हैव टू स्कैजुअल तुम ये करो तुम ये करो तुम ये करो Yeah, sorry about that. So, whenever I have to use Hadoop for some work for processing, so I need a framework for that. So, John basically helps me schedule my jobs. ठीक है कि map reduce की एक job create होती है क्योंकि scheduling इस ये इसलिए चाहिए क्योंकि you know मुख्तलिफ चीजें different things are going to different nodes and you have to coordinate between them. So the job has to be coordinated. Job is executed in a distributed manner. That is difficult, so you need a framework for that. So that is basically John. So John is to manage that. That yeah, okay. I have to, let's um, say, John can say that uh, I have to calculate the total of ten million numbers. See, uh, and the data is. over there that the data is distributed over 10 machines <clears throat> so i run a job to add these 10 million numbers ab wo kis tarah hoga wo mushkil kaam hai but i need coordination um obviously for for this type of work i need coordination uh between the nodes to run the job in a distributed manner sahi hai to wo isme ye hai ki i run the job in a distributed manner to wo uske liye aapko ek framework chahiye that's called yarn bas ab itna yaad rakhiye theek hai uh processing ke liye i have already told you mr2 is the probably the second version of mapreduce बट आई कैन ऑल्सो यूज पार्क ही मैं आपको ऑलरेडी बता चुका हूँ ठीक है ऑल ऑफ दैम आर अंडर दपाची लाइसेंस एंड द रिलेटेड अंबारी इज द फ्रंट एंड फॉर हडूप एवरो इज अटा सीरियलाइजेशन टेक्निक कसांड्रा इज अ डेटा बेस आई फॉर गॉड अबाउट दिस इज अट दिस इज द डेटा बेस हाइव इज द वेयर हाउस माउट इज फॉर मशीन लर्निंग पिग इज फॉर राइटिंग मै प्रोड्यूस कोड जू कीपर इज द एसेंशियल कॉम्पोनेंट दिस टेस्ट भी मैं भूल गया हूँ Probably test is also for real time streaming. ठीक है. So the Hadoop की history ये कि it's inspired by work done at Google. So Google basically published a few papers in two thousand three two thousand four. So they have their GFS Google file system. तो उसको कुछ लोगों ने लेके they created the open source Hadoop file system. So that's that was work done basically in one year. So one year lag tha ke in in ka dekhe aur unhone kya kiya tha? They created the open source version of that, and the map reduce concept is also brought on by Google. Okay. So in the GFS, uh, I can store very large files, gigabytes to terabytes. Uh, so I can break up the file into sixty four MB blocks. Uh, the blocks are replicated. We already know. Ki jo bhi cheez ek node pe jayegi, wo replicate hogi. Uh, the block size and the replication factor are configurable per file. Default replication value is three. Uh, file system is intentionally not fully POSIX compliant. Uh, so because uh, write once read many access model for files. के जितना ज़्यादा SQL चलती है उतना ज़्यादा write नहीं होता. It's also the same in Oracle database. You just write once and read many times. Uh, and the file which is once created or written cannot be changed. Uh, so in this way, I it become the data becomes coherent and the throughput is ensured. If the writing is very large, then it is very difficult to manage. 
सही है तो हडूप के अंदर वी इट्स लाइक अ नॉर्मल ऑरेकल डेटाबेस सो देर इज अ राइट लॉग यू कैन राइट बट देखें हडूप इज नॉट द डेटाबेस फॉर स्ट्रीमिंग डेटा यू कैन एक्सेप्ट बिकॉज इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू राइट इन हडूप बिकॉज हडूप राइट इन अ क्लस्टर हडूप जो है वो तो नोड पे राइट कर रहा होता है ना देर थाउजेंड ऑफ नोट और मे बी टेन्स ऑफ नोट सो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू मैनेज इट विल टेक टाइम टू राइट द डेटा सो इफ आई हैव स्ट्रीमिंग डेटा देन डेफिनेटली हडूप इज नॉट द सोल्यूशन फॉर दैट मे बी आई विल मॉन्गो डी बी सही है वह कैन रीनेम एंड रिमूव द फाइल्स नेम नोड इज द मेन सर्वर ऑफ द हडूप क्लस्टर नेम नोड ट्रैक्स द नेम्स एंड वेयर द ब्लॉग्स आर सही है सो इफ आई हैव द क्लस्टर हेयर so one of the one of the nodes is called the name node which manages all the clusters through hdfs so it's it's is the master basically theek okay? hai all these are slaves so it's a master slave architecture aur dusra fir ye hai ke processing ke liye i got yarn so yarn will manage the map produce task that's what you need to keep in mind theek okay? hai uh Hadoop can work with any file system, but this loses locality. So Hadoop can integrate with, let's say, the file system of any other company, uh, but its key management is difficult. So HDFS is the one who uses it. It's its own file system. Hadoop must know which servers are closest to the data. Obviously, uh, if I have the node, so Hadoop should know which node is closest to the data. Obviously, if I have the node, so Hadoop should know which node is closest to the data. यानी अगर फॉर एग्जांपल ये कस्टमर हैं ए टू सी उनके नाम ए से सी से शुरू होते हैं ऑल द कस्टमर्स विद डी टू जे फॉर एग्जांपल स्टार्टिंग नेम्स आर इन द नेक्स्ट नोड सो हडूप के पास इसका नॉलेज होना चाहिए ताकि अगर इफ समन सेंड्स अ क्वेरी के रिगार्डिंग बोथ ऑफ दिस कस्टमर टाइप्स देन इट कैन बी एग्जीक्यूटेड एफिशियंटली सो हडूप हैज दिस नॉलेज सो अवेयरनेस ऑफ द डेटा लोकेशन सो दिस अवेयरनेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट in uh, map reduce uh, because of the fact ke uh, let me give you the example here so this will help you understand inshallah so i have let's say ke three nodes so here i have data for let's say my data is just distributed here theek hai koi masla nahi hai mera listen carefully so i have the data here some, some data here some data here so all of these are customer data right and i want a i want to run a query in which i find out the total sales per customer through map reduce okay so for that what i what i will do is ke what is the way to do that so i'll say ke all the customers which uh, have uh, starting names from a to j unka data is node pe le aao theek hai from k to p unka data yahan pe le aao एंड फ्रॉम क्यू टू जी उनका सारा डेटा यहाँ पर ले आओ या तो वहां यहीं पर स्टोर कर दो या फिर इधर उधर से डेटा उठा के एक जगह पे ले आओ नाउ वट विल है इफ आई रन मैप रिड्यूस तो ऑल द सेल्स फॉर दीज कस्टमर्स विल बी टोटल्ड ऑन दिस नोड ऑल द सेल्स फॉर दीज कस्टमर्स विल बी टोटल्ड ऑन दिस नोड एंड ऑल द सेल्स फॉर दीज कस्टमर्स विल बी टोटल ऑन दिस नोड एंड देन आई विल डू के दिस इज रिजल्ट वन दिस इज रिजल्ट टू दिस इज रिजल्ट थ्री and i can just combine them to acquire the overall result theek hai this is called location awareness theek hai agar location awareness hogi to main a to j ka data yahan la sakta hu na warna to main la hi nahi sakta through map reduce theek hai so ye problem hai um hadoop has the location awareness based on which it is able to solve this problems in this way ki ek particular puri category ek node pe le aao to aapke liye management karna uske liye uh, it becomes very simple अदरवाइज आप ये देखें अगर ए कस्ट जो कस्टमर्स का नाम ए से शुरू होता है लेट्स से कि पर्सन कॉल्ड आर्नल्ड अब आर्नल्ड जो है उसका डेटा यहां पर भी पड़ा हुआ है यहां पर भी पड़ा हुआ तो टोटल मैं कैसे करूंगा आई कॉन्ट टोटल इट टू टोटल द डेटा आई हैव टू पुट इट इन वन नोड एक जगह पे होना चाहिए ना इस तरह तो मैं टोटल कर नहीं सकता सो दैट इज एक्जैक्टली दिंग विच मै प्रोड्यूस यूज इट नोज वेयर Each data lies. A का डेटा सारा कहाँ पड़ा हुआ है बी का कहाँ पड़ा हुआ है सी का कहाँ पड़ा हुआ है सो इट्स अवेयर ऑफ द लोकेशन एंड दैट इज द रीजन के इट इज एबल टू हैंडल मैप्रोड्यूस ठीक है 
and in this way i can present, prevent any unnecessary data transfer uh, it can significantly reduce the job completion times when running data intensive jobs so this kind of thing is really is really great and has been working since the last 15 years bahut acha ye ja raha hai acha google ka jo tha it they had the gfs and uh, they also had this big table so big table is their like big uh, database so big table is like edge base एच बेस जो हमने बनाया वो बिग टेबल से हमने आइडिया लिया सो इट कैन स्टोर डेटा पीटा बाइट थाउजेंड ऑफ मशीन दैट्स ओनली फॉर गूगल सो मैप्स आर्बिट्ररी स्ट्रिंग वैल्यूज टू एन एसोसिएटेड आर्बिट्ररी बाइट एरे इज जस्ट द वे इट मैनेज सी द डिटेल इन एच बेस लेटर ऑन ठीक है द टेबल्स आर स्प्लिट इन टू मल्टीपल टैबलेट सो आई हैूज टेबल विच इज कॉल्ड अ बिग टेबल but it is managed in such a way ki usko maine tukde karke mukhtalif nodes pe taqseem kar diye hain wo un tukdo ko hum kehte hain tablets that's it theek hai aur wo kis tarah tukde bante hain we will see later on i can also compress them if needed and data is maintained in lexicographic order i mean in the order of the way it comes in with respect to the string a b c d e by the key of the row and clients can exploit this by selecting row keys for good locality so the concept is the same ke if i am location awareness i will be able to manage the queries in a better way so the location awareness in the big table can be acquired through row keys so every row has a key and mind you ke these tablets are not similar to the oracle or the mysql tables they are different tables so i can have lots of null values and it, it will still be okay i can have multiple columns merged together in one column family it will still be okay sahi hai to koi itna bada masla nahi hai Null values are not an issue in these tables, so they are different tables. So that's how it manages. So it, the same thing happens in edge base as well. Definitely, it relational database. No, it's a sparse. You see, no, yes, sparse. Ka matlab hai lots of null values. Distributed, multi-dimensional because I'm going for like thousands of columns if possible. A map or a table, you can say. Apache Cassandra, Apache edge base, Google Cloud Big Table. So all of these are are doing something similar to this, but. I think the most important one for us are are these two, Cassandra and Edge Base. Okay. So that's the stuff for this. Now let's see the example of MapReduce. We already know what MapReduce. I told you there are two functions. So this is the map function. So what happens is, k I have the data in this table. Uh, for example, okay, I have the data over a cluster, right? So, so these are the data in the node one, node two, and here the data in node three. so again let's just take the same example of the customer so a to a to j are here k to p are here and q to z are here to main sabse pehle kaam kya karunga ki i'm going to map sahi hai to if i have to find out the total sales theek hai so the map i will map each row to like this i will just say okay uh, arnold let's say arnold is the first uh, person with name a arnold and 12000 So Arnold gave me the sale of twelve. I will make a key value pair out of that. Okay. And then I had another guy who is called Archie, for example. So Archie. So it's it's going to sort. We made it in in sorted order. So Archie twelve thousand. And let's say I just have. Uh, uh, let's say I have this uh, Barber. See, so Barber gave me like fourteen thousand. and uh, let's say i have another one like uh, i don't know uh, dilip so dilip gave me like 13000 so these uh, the data so uh, i will have multiple so Ar let's say archie had two sales archie gave me 10000 and uh, 12000 babar gave me 14000 and uh, so babar bought two times and this 1000 and then dilip also made two sales so dilip uh, gave me 13000 and let's say 3000 okay so these are the key mapped key value pairs for the first node theek hai is this thing clear ye cheez aapko samajhna bahut zaruri hai if i bring this uh, okay so i'll just put them here so that they become Okay, so I just 
and now I'll have another one. So for K to P, so let's say I have someone called uh, Khalid. So Khalid is 1K and uh, Khalid again, I got uh, 2K and uh, P say, let's say, I don't know, uh, K, L, who's from L, uh, K, L, M, and M. So M is, let's say, K, Muzammil. So Muzammil gave me like 3K. And again, Muzammil gave me like 4K. So I, I think it, these are the ones here uh, for the second node. Okay. And uh, for the third node, let's say I have this. I'm taking an extremely simple example. So I will have, let's say, a Qasim 1K. Okay. And uh, again, Qasim 1K. And uh, let's say Zubair 2K and then Zubair 2K. just try to understand this thing ke, the data was not like this ke Sara Archie or Babur or Dilip ko node one par hai. the data was not like this the data was distributed but uh, when we ran this map reduce task to Jan ne ye kaam kiya ke usne sort kiya ke A2, A2 J jitne bhi the, uska map karke in this format he brought it to node one and all of these here and all of these here. So let's see, these are my total customers and they are their total sales. Okay. So this is the mapping. So I create a list. Okay. And then I reduce. So when I reduce here, so reduce it is it's pretty simple. So I just simply reduce by creating a key value pair, one key value pair, Archie. And I add, so it's 22,000. That's it. So Barber, it's 15,000. Dilip, it's 16,000. So that's done. When I total kar liya, khatam. Now I have these three key value pairs which are here. So yeah. Similarly, for the this one, so I have Khaled 3K and uh, Muzammir 7K, Kasim 2K and Zubair 5K. So I have now these key value pairs. So I can simply, I will do it. Ke, uh, I will simply combine this, this, and this to generate a whole list. Starting with Archie, Babur, Dilip, Khalid, Muzammil, Qasim, Zubair. That's it. So this is my work. So I have talked about this on a high level. I have tried to explain how this happens. Actually, this is a very difficult thing. This is a very difficult thing. So uh, you have to shuffle data between map and reduce. So that reduce function has whole set of data for its given keys. Haan, to ye bhi, ye bhi ho sakta hai ke aapko ek advanced form bata di ho. This is also possible. Ke I first make the key value. So for example, Archie ka map yahan par bhi hoga. Hai? So I'll just write this down. Archie map, Archie key value pairs can be distributed initially. So for example, node one pe bhi honge, node two pe bhi honge, node three pe bhi honge. Because Archie data is distributed. Okay. Uh, because Archie's data is distributed. So jahan pa data pada hua hai, pe ja ke map karna. Where the data is, just go and map it. Just create the key value pair. That's it. Key value pair is bhoot asaan hai. Thik hai? Uh, mapping is pretty simple. Then we shuffle. Shuffle ka matlab ye ke bring all the Archie maps or key values to one node, which is the first in our case. This is node one. Similarly, for Babur and Dilip and all, to ab yes ko shuffling kate. Shuffling se fayda yo te ke sari cheese a kati jo eki cheese avo eki node pe ajati. That's it. Muskele belli usko per total karna. Otherwise, you can't do it. Otherwise, you can't do it. You can't do it. That's called shuffling. Okay. So, this is called shuffling. Then, what do you do? Let's see. Let's 
तो ये उसकी एक मिसाल है कि मैंने आपको एग्जांपल ऑलरेडी पीछे की स्लाइड में दे दी है तो आई जस्ट मशीन वन मैप लिस्ट ऑफ के टू वी टू कम्बाइन लिस्ट ऑफ के टू वी टू के टू लिस्ट रेड्यूस लिस्ट ऑफ वी थ्री तो यहाँ पे मैंने शफल किया है तो मैंने आपको सिंपल एग्जाम्पल समझा दी है उन्होंने थोड़ा मुश्किल तरीके से बताया हुआ है वेर एवर द डेटा इज फर्स्ट यू मैप ऑन दैट मशीन यू क्रिएट अ लिस्ट एंड देन यू कम्बाइन कम्बाइन इन देंस की इफ यू हैव डिफरेंट आर सी पेयर्स Uh, on the same machine, just combine them, keep them together to create the list. Then shuffle and put it on the on one one of the nodes, and that's it. So you combine them, they just create one list. So combine is just a wrangling tau sort of function. Okay. So just see the previous slide, which I have told you, so you will understand okay, what is happening. So these are the very simple uh, functions that you have uh, in the sense of. Uh, so it's a, it's it's the it's the word count example which is a, which is a childish example so i input i input the document i input the contents for each word i have this w comma 1 so agar maine likha hai ke the rain is here uh and the rain will happen and the rain will stop ठीक है सो वट इफ आई डिसाइड टू मेक की वैल्यू पेयर फॉर दिस ठीक है सो फॉर दिस की वैल्यू पेयर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड काउंट राइट रेन कोमा वन फर्स्ट आई विल जस्ट डू दिस इज कोमा वन हेयर कोमा वन एक एक दफा आ रहा है एंड कोमा वन द कोमा वन रेन कोमा वन विल कोमा वन एंड स्टॉप कोमा वन तो जब ये हो जाएगा उसके बाद मैं क्या करूंगा उसके बाद आई विल सेंड ऑल के की वैल्यू पेयर्स ऑफ वन टाइप और इन अ रेंज टू वन नोट जैसे हमने पिछली बार करके देखा ठीक है तो and then i will reduce there just <coughs> for shuffling uh, shuffle kehte hain so i will combine and shuffle so what i will do is ke let's say ke i have this uh, i have two nodes node 1 node 2 so i will say ke da ke sare yahan pe le aao so these two will come here rain ke bhi yahan pe le aao aur baki jo hai wo yahan le aao to is Here, will stop सारे यहां ले आओ सो आउटपुट क्या होगा दा कोमा टू रेन कोमा टू एंड देन इज वन हेयर वन एंड वन विल वन स्टॉप वन दैट्स इट दैट्स फिर आप दोनों कंबाइन कर दोगे ठीक है सो यू जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू डोंट नीड टू गो टू टू मेनी डिटेल्स के और किस तरह हो रहा है uh yeah so it's uh, the combiner function to optimize the bandwidth it uh, runs after the mapper and before the once we have mapped uh it is run on every node that has run a map task it receives that input all the data emitted by the mapper in the given node combiner output sent to the reducer instead of the output from the mappers so combiner is simply a, a data wrangling sort of step ke jo aapne map karke key value pairs generate kiye उनको कंबाइन करके आप किसी नोट पे भेज दें शफल करके ताकि फिर आप वहां पे रिड्यूस हो सके इज अ मिनी रिड्यूस प्रोसेस ऑपरेट्स ओनली ऑन डेटा जनरेटेड बाय वन मशीन ठीक है सो यू मैप यू कंबाइन यू शफल यू रिड्यूस मैप कंबाइन शफल रिड्यूस दैट्स इट सो इट्स यूजफुल फॉर वर्ड काउंट्स एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स आर नॉट इजीली डिस्क्राइब देखें अब इसमें इस हम क्या कह रहे हैं ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस के If I am saying that Hadoop only understands map reduce in batch mode, then I have to convert everything to map reduce. And yes, SQL queries be me map reduce me shift kar convert karunga. So then I will be able to execute SQL machine learning ke sare algorithms me map reduce me convert karunga. Then only I will be able to do machine learning on Hadoop data. So everything is not easily converted to map reduce. That's the problem through which, jiski wajah se humne Apache Spark ko create kiya ke 
map reduce is very slow and it is not possible for me to write map reduce code for everything i want to do because maybe jo machine learning algorithms are not all of them are parallelizable through map reduce the map reduce is a very simple mechanism it's just two functions jo ke key value pair aapko generate karke de rahe so wo to kabhi bhi professional kaam nahi ho sakta so therefore we need to do something else so that something else is apache spark map reduce slow bhi hai everything is not Uh, converted easily converted to map and reduce functions it is also for batch data so map reduce cannot manage streaming data that is why logo ne phir 2011 mein ya 12 mein they launched apache spark theek hai so it's for processing uh, but it is not it is used instead of map reduce although it runs over hadoop sahi hai to it's more for real time and faster things to main aapko bata raha hu na ki aajkal uh, that's what we do aajkal we um map reduce is only used for those tasks which you know are not very are not very critical uh, but aajkal to hame real time mein we always want things as soon as possible in real time theek hai so therefore the map reduce ke jo jo usage hai wo limited hai uh, i uh, although data lakes mein wo use ho sakta hai so in the spark i don't use map and reduce rather i have defined some operations any i define some uh, transformations and actions kele operations kele jaise ki aapke paas plus aur minus wagera hote hain theek hai operations can be combined in any order so the order does not matter it's open source i can uh, code in spark using java scala and python obviously hum to python pe focus karenge the first uh, dekhe uh, if i want to use data processing through spark uh, then i i need some sort of data structure so pyth uh, spark pehle kya karta tha ki it used to say ke puts your data in the rdd so all the data in hadoop it got converted to rdd but now uh, it has data sets uh, and usse pehle data frames the so this was the first option that was being used by spark and then this was the second and nowadays data has been converted to data sets this is very simply to the python data frames jo ki hum aapne wo kiya tha na usme data frame jo aapne wrangling mein kiye is very similar to that so you can you know i think you have to go with the default selection jo bhi hai so they are improving the data structure just a bit detail about the rdd uh, so it represents the transformation of the data rdds can be created from hadoop input formats in data which is in hdfs so i can create the rdds from that you can also stack rdds together and then i can put operations on the rdds actions force calculations and return the values nothing computed until an action requires it so there is no default computation uh they are suited for application that apply the same operation to all elements of a data set so if i have a huge array of data and i want to do the same thing on that then rdds are really cool for that theek okay? hai uh but if i have some asynchronous activity uh then it is asynchronous means ke i'm for these elements i require something else for these elements i require something else uh then it's not very common to use rdds for that so they are going to they're going to slow down things okay yeah. so this is a spark example in scala scala is also a development language so you have to create a spark context which is the master you can say spark which controls all the spark processing so we'll do this inshallah tara demo filtering uh, filter is a transform so i can create a filter how many line contains so you see all of these are operations all of these are different functions that i can use with spark so they are not like uh, map reduce codes uh, you know key value pairs nahi this is with python uh, def sample so Uh, this is a very simple example uh, in which i am just uh, calculating the uh, how many units fall in the circle ye khair uh, this is the this is example of a monte carlo this is a very famous example of uh, monte carlo technology or the monte carlo uh, uh, concept in mathematics in machine learning in fact so ye ke wo i can estimate uh, i can estimate the value of pi in this in this way through this parallel uh, ye ek alag kahani hai so 
तो द पॉइंट इज के स्पार्क के अंदर इफ यू डू पाइथन तो पाइथन में आप इस तरह का यू कैन राइट द कोड लाइक दिस ये देखा एक पाई इज रफली दिस ऑफ दिस सो बाय एस्टीमेटिंग हाउ मेनी आई आई सैंपल रैंडमली एंड आई जस्ट डू दिस चेक सो थ्रू दिस आई एम एबल टू एस्टीमेट द वैल्यू ऑफ पाई थ्रू मोंटे कार्लो मैकेनिज्म ठीक है दैट्स द मेन थिंग वर्क अभी आपको इसके बारे में जानने की जरूरत नहीं है सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन स्पार्क मैप फिल्टर यूनियन इंटरसेक्शन डिस्टिंक्ट जॉइन when i have the rdd so i can apply these operations on them so all of them have different meaning so we'll see them later on reduce collect and count actions cause calculation to be performed transfer just set things up lazy evaluation action means the actual work to be done and transformation is simply wrangling so isme bhi do cheeze hoti hain uh jo rdd you can persist it on the hard disk um so when you persist it each node stores any partitions of it that it computes in memory and uses them persistence means ki usko hard disk pe rakh lu and i can i can convert the rdd to partitions jaise ki kafka mein i can convert topic to partitions theek hai i can reuse them if i persisted them wo to obviously hum kar hi sakte hain the data which is on hard disk can be reused uh, and this allows future actions to be much faster theek hai uh, so i can use persist or cache methods on it uh the first time it is computed in an action it will be kept in memory on the nodes so obviously jo cheez abhi fresh istemal hui hai uh pehli dafa istemal hui action ke liye some work so it, it's it's in the ram in the first case the okay, cache is fault tolerant if any partition of an rdd is lost it will automatically be recomputed uh using the transformations that originally created it theek okay, hai so it's fault tolerance like hadoop theek okay. hai so we are maintaining copies of the partitions of the rdd similarly to how we are maintaining copies of partitions of the kafka topic theek okay? hai i can choose the storage level memory only disk only memory and disk both together so ye bhi main choose kar sakta hu uh, and i can also choose to unpersist ke do everything in the ram and then forget about it persist na karo hard disk pe dalne ki koi cheez zarurat nahi hai uh, so this is logistic regression acha spark ke sath i have this uh, ml Spark ML, right? Spark ML is much better than Mahout. Mahout is the machine learning library which is based on MapReduce only. Spark ML is based on uh, data sets, data frames, RDDs, etc. So this is very very fast. So I think uh, this is from Spark ML, and they are just calculating the uh, logistic regression. You are studying it. This is one of the machine learning algorithms. Um, which is very closely related to uh, neural networks uh, and also the normal regression case that we have so spark numpy random current separating algorithms iterations blah 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 find best as every two points in the applies map reduce and reduce the same so that is really from cache and then put in ram to iski hame tafseel dekhni padegi spark ml ki ke how it actually happens um here they are claiming it also uses the map reduce operation uh, but i will have to see ke how that is happening the spark ml andar se kis tarah se chal raha hai ye abhi clear nahi hai let's let's do that when the time comes this is the same example in scala this is the same example in java so 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 spark has no three apis rdds data frames and data sets uh so data sets are the latest one each has pros and cons and limitation uh the data frame uh, has the data organized into named columns for example like a table so it imposes a structure into a distributed collection of data allowing higher level abstraction to ye wohi wali baat hai ki aapne hadoop ko hive mein dal diya ya edge base ke tables mein dal diya theek hai to spark ke data ko bhi aap tables mein data frame dal sakte data set is an extension of a data frame api which provides type safe object oriented programming interface so yeah so this is probably much better because when i have the object oriented uh, mechanism so i can do classes and all those things so data sets are thing much more formal than data frames so i can actually program in spark like i program in in enterprise application uh, and both are built on spark sql engine and use catalyst to generate optimized logical and physical query plans a uh, query plans ka matlab hai ki whenever you have a query like sql so it it must have a plan so the plan is generated by the database engine so in this case the plan will be generated by spark so i can run apache presto apache drill uh and then it it's going to be executed with a plan the plan is going to be given by spark 
and uh, in the case of map in the case of uh, uh, i don't use park then if i am using only map reduce then the plan again will be given by hdfs theek hai ya phir jaan shayad karke dega isko map reduce ke upar wo convert it both, both can be converted to an rdd ye bhi zaruri cheez hai i can convert a data set to rdd uh, agar wo synchronous data updates hai usme ya processing hai ऐसे मैंने लेकिन कन्वर्ट दिस टू आरडी एज वेल तो डेटा फ्रेम कन्वर्ट्स टू अ टेबल एंड डेटा सेट आल्सो ब्रिंग्स इन द ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड मैकेनिज्म पाइथन ओनली सपोर्ट्स डेटा फ्रेम इट डज नॉट सपोर्ट डेटा सेट्स जावा एंड स्केला सपोर्ट कंपाइल टाइम टाइप सेफ्टी चेक्स सो सपोर्ट बोथ डेटा सेट एंड डेटा फ्रेम्स सो इन दिस केस आई डू वांट टू हैव टाइप सेफ टाइप सेफ्टी टाइप सेफ चेक्स सो टाइप सेफ्टी इज नॉट प्रोवाइडेड बाय python so it can only support a data frame which is uh, data set apis are all express a lambda functions this is the type of function which is used in uh, apna spark when koi is tarah kehte hain lambda functions so isko hum tafseel mein dekhenge ke type se yani just keep in mind ke python ke andar i can simply use data frame and in java and scala i can use both data sets and data frames because they support compile time type safety checks so type safety checks me i mean these these are very much well developed programming languages as compared to python and r um there's a there's a difference so they are more like you can say ke more towards enterprise development as compared to python and python and r are doing many other things as well which are but the java ke andar mai koi data science ka kaam nahi karta to python phir bhi java ke takkar pe hai theek hai तो बहरहाल अब ये क्लियर हो गई बात कि हम उसको नहीं कर सकते लेकिन अगेन यू हैव टू सी द लेटेस्ट थिंग स्पार्क सीक्वल इफ द इफ आई एम यूजिंग स्पार्क आई कैन यूज स्पार्क सीक्वल टू आई मीन आई डोंट नीड टू रन प्रेस टू आई कैन सिंपली यूज स्पार्क सीक्वल टू क्वेरी एस स्पार्क डेटा थ्रू एस क्यू एल स्पार्क स्ट्रीमिंग इज जो हम अभी इंटरेस्टेड हैं एम ले भी बता चुका हूँ ग्राफ एक्स इज ग्राफ मैनिकुलेशन सो ऑल ऑफ दीज लाइब्रेरीज आर रनिंग ऑन टॉप ऑफ स्पार्क अब आप ये देखें कि हेयर इट टुक 72 मिनट्स विद मैप रिड्यूस एंड हेयर इट टेक 23 मिनट्स नंबर ऑफ नोड्स 2100 नंबर ऑफ नोड्स 206 द डेटा साइज इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम कितनी कोर्स हैं 6500 कोर्स हेयर आई नीड 50000 कोर्स क्लस्टर्ड डिस थ्रूपुट सो थ्रूपुट इज लेस बट द पॉइंट इज के अदर थिंग्स आर वेरी रॉन्ग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू मैप रिड्यूस uh this is network could be the same so the sorting rate of the data is is very high 4.27 terabytes per minute here we have the 1.42 terabytes per minute that's the sorting rate sorting rate per node is also pretty high in spark so there's no comparison you know with respect to speed and efficiency and those things the spark is the winner three times much faster with less 1/10 of nodes you need less nodes and faster processing to spark is the winner spark faster but it has its limitations as well uh, because you need a larger ram it, it processes the data and memory hadoop map reduce mein ram ki requirements strict nahi hai spark outperforms map reduce but often needs lots of memory to do it well main aapko bata chuka hu otherwise the spark degrades uh, map reduce can it's more stable map reduce is more stable because it does not have that many requirements it can run alongside with us with minor performance differences blah 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 spark is easier to program spark is more generalized spark is maturing and so is the map reduce platform so there's no end to it so this is uh, one of the stack proposed um you see mesos is the is mesos is uh, the data warehouse solution for hadoop it's also very famous yarn we have already done that hdfs is here s3 is from amazon so these are the storage layer um storage obviously i can do hdfs s3 is amazon cloud uh, i don't know about these two these are the the processing engines so spark core is here and above spark i have streaming i have this spark sql spark r yani r language mein agar aapne spark ke through kaam karna hai to spark r is there graph ml based this is something new ml pipelines ml lib all of these are developing machine learning solutions i don't know about this so new things are coming up all the time 
Yeah, so it's pretty famous. Um, so this is some sort of book which prominent uh, solving human problem using limited resources in engineering. Nestle involves trade offs. You are not Google by all If you are not, if you are using a technology that originated in a large company, but your use case is very different, it's unlikely to arrive there deliberately. You do the right, try to do the right job. So whatever is done in Google and Facebook is not necessarily right for us. So it's just uh, you know, do not choose the technology because it's the newest by latest thing, or this will scale far beyond my needs. That's the wrong thing. Okay. So know what tools exist and choose the best one for the circumstances that you have. In some cases, that would be Spark. So yeah, beware of the siren call. Yani ek Spark is all the solution. That's why we are having such a big ecosystem. So we're going to see this uh, later on. Okay. So uh, there were no questions. There were hardly any questions. So now I think uh, uh, I will just upload the quiz and inform you as soon as possible.